what we really want to talk about is Katsumi's Party, your new game directed by Erica Lust. Um, Erica is very well known for her feminist approach. To so was the fact that you did your first game with her a surprise? Was it her idea? Was it your it idea? It was her first game. Because um, I did my first game with Black Raw. Mm -hmm. But I remember she was a little hesitant because... Um, cause I'm a feminist too, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, and she was like really concerned about showcasing female agency and making sure that like, I always looked empowered and like, looked like, looked like I was in control because I feel like a lot of women, especially, you know, they think about gang and they think of like it being really violent, it being like really selfish in terms of like only catering to male needs and not like what a woman wants. But in reality, every time I ask a girl, hey, like, what's your deepest, darkest fantasy? Almost every girl is like, dude, I would love it. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, this comes with the caveat that all the guys are super attractive and super respectful. Um, and I've obviously done a lot of personal gang in my real life, uh, which I talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. But something that, like, I mentioned when I had dinner with Erica Les, as I was telling her this idea a long time ago, was it doesn't have, like, a cute gangbang. Like, what about, like, a romantic game? Every time I've gone a game ran on me in real life, which I guess is different than doing, and a game ran on me in real mm -hmm. life, it's always been adorable. Like, it's never, like, an evil, like, violent mosh pit of, like, it's always been, like, oh, my God, are we doing this? And then, like, they make out of me, and then, like, another guy comes in, and then it's, like, a little thing, and then, like, we're having fun, and we're laughing, and it's, like, romantic, you know? And I feel like nowadays... A lot of guys, like, especially in the world, because they don't want to tag as many people as possible, they're super into, like, reverse because mm -hmm. we're in a shortage of guys. So it'll be, like, one guy and, like, four top girls. And I am always like, no, I don't want to do that. That doesn't cater to my fantasy at all. I want, <laughs> what the f I've done a bunch of reverse but every time I do, I'm always like, ugh, this yeah. isn't for me. This yeah. is for the guy. Like, yeah, the guy yeah. wants me Jules Blue, Kimmy Granger, and and another amazing girl at the same time. Like, like, like whose fantasy is that? It's the guys. Yeah. And the same goes for the reverse. Mm -hmm. If I want like the hottest, cutest guys to like kiss me and make out with me and then all have me, yeah, that's like my fantasy. So she was a little um hesitant at first until I explained that. And she was like, Yeah, you're right. We we should create something like that because the girls like it. Girls love getting Every girl deserves one. Even you, Holly Randall. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you hear that? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that was one of the reasons that I loved talking to you in the last interview because you, we did, we talked a lot about games Yeah. And you talked about how empowered it made I you I changed feel. the, I'm like the PR president for games. You know, I'm like yeah. making it couture, you know? Making it, making games. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, and, and I've had other girls on and I've talked to them about They've all said like the same thing, you know, like, yeah, I love that attention. I'm the center of attention. All of these guys are, you know, surrounding me. And um, and it is interesting how we never look at it that way. And I think it's because we're so trained to think that women are like always being victimized and like being overwhelmed in that way is always like a negative thing. And it's often not like that. Yeah. And I've shot a cup. I've shot three in my life and every single one of them the girl organized i shot it for them and for yeah. their company and they loved it and it was actually so much fun no you can feel like especially like now that i've actually watched a lot of these girls are so stoked like yeah. they're so happy they're yeah. like oh my god this is the best day ever like when erica less she showed me all the potential guys and then they all showed up and they were in these like tiny like white tidy whitey like briefs i was like is Maybe God is real. Like, this is, like, the best <laughs> day ever. I, like, couldn't believe it. Like, I was in Barcelona in, like, this sexy castle location in, like, a cute robe. Um, and there was just, like, these five guys. And they were all looking at me like, oh, my God, I can't wait to have you. Mm -hmm. I was just, like, yeah. Like, I don't know how this doesn't rule. <laughs> I feel like a lot of, like, anti-feminist people and are also anti-people. Mm -hmm. So, as a whole, they don't assume that girls want to have 
in general. Yeah. And then if you multiply it by like seven guys, they're like, oh, this is definitely like something that a woman just doesn't naturally consent to at all. Yeah. When in reality, like, bro, ask your girlfriend right now what she wants. She does not want to share you with another girl and have a with you. Yeah. I swear to God. Like, <laughs> we live with it because it's easier for us to be like more flexible with women yeah because if i bring a guy over you're gonna cry and burst into tears <laughs> yeah. but a lot of us are leaning generally more to guys because you're if we're dating a guy yeah so we probably would like two guys or 17 guys yeah or a million guys <laughs> or it's gonna guys. rule <laughs> yeah i mean um I also really liked the way that she shot it. Did you watch it? Yes, I did watch the whole it. Thing? I actually watched it at my hairdresser's today. <laughs> Cause I tried to watch it earlier and like the password like wasn't working. So I went to my hairdresser's before I came here and and she's pretty cool. I'm like, do you mind if With I work the audio pay? on? Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> do you, well, where she's in her own private salon. Oh, okay. So I'm like, do you mind if I watch it? Your like Floyd's like, no, 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 no. She's her own like room. And I was like, do you mind if I watch it? on my phone while you do my hair <laughs> and she was like yeah I don't care yeah and so um yeah so I watched it and I really liked how I it was very different the way that that Erica did it I it like so meta yeah it was like uh, us talking about it that that yes. conversation was actually a real conversation we had I feel like it was over the phone and on Zoom and like uh, like through like a lunch meeting we had. Mm -hmm. So all of the things we said were things we had said to each other. And then she put it in the script. And I, when I was reading the script, I was like, huh? And then when I watched it, I was like, oh, like what a big brain genius. Yeah. 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 No, I like that how. So it was a way to show that she was concerned about the female agency and making sure that this was something that aligned with her brand and also like with your desires, right? So it was a really clever way to show that like, yes, this is something that you wanted. And I actually liked a little bit of the banter and a little bit about, not that she was like necessarily like making fun of herself, but you know, you were just kind of like, look, Erica, like, yes, girls can like gang bangs. Like yeah. this is, this is a fun thing to do. Like, um, you know, don't take this, I felt like it was like kind of taking the like don't take the feminist angle like too seriously sort of thing. It was yeah, it was interesting because I I felt like I had so many girls reach out to me after I posted and were like, dude, like thank you, like I really wanted to see this, and I feel like I don't usually have so many girls message me and say, hey, I'm watching your. Mm -hmm. It's obviously usually guys, mm -hmm. so it's cool to start seeing first of all women watch and be happy about it, and also women pay for. Thank you. Like, it's time for us to grow up and put our girl, big girl panties on and pay for our freaking. Yeah. Yeah. And then I also liked how, um, you know, there was, I mean, you guys talked about this, these back and forth ideas, right? And then like the tennis and then the pool and then like, so it really kind of showed how the idea evolved and it kept it like loose and kind of casual and playful and fun. And then they incorporated, it looked like they were shooting on like a hi eight camera. I don't know. Or like a, it looks like it, a fancy rig for sure. Okay. Well, maybe they used a filter because some of the footage was definitely like kind of early 90s mm -hmm. reminiscent um, of that kind of like staticky sort of footage. Yeah. And I liked how it looked like a freaking, like I was showing it to my castmates on the show. LOL. I was like showing it. Mm -hmm. And I was, and all of them were like, dude, put this in like the Cannes Film Festival. Like this is like freaking like, filmed so cool yeah yeah i feel like that's another reason why i really love doing mainstream is like i like feeling like i made it mm -hmm. you know and i felt like for a long time as i was chasing and pandering to respectability politics about like oh i don't want to do or oh i don't want to do this or that i started asking myself like what does making it actually look like does it mean like being on a real movie set well what's the difference between this and that mm -hmm. like i'm just doing yeah, I'm still acting. We're still doing a mood board. We're still having a million meetings. We're doing everything just like a real movie set does. Yeah. You know, it's like what I really should chase is what makes me happy and feel fulfilled. And that's what making it actually is. Mm -hmm. And then you guys had and I liked also, too, how she brought in the consent checklist without actually like showing the consent checklist, because that's generally not something that you want to like show the fans because it's usually like personal conversations that people want to have with each other, yeah. but alluding to that. So, um, and then, uh, and then I was actually, I have to say, I was curious to see if there was going to be a facial at the end, like what was going to happen with 
because I know that for Erica, like usually the culmination of a movie is like the guy, not the girl. Yeah. Um, but she was very careful to show like, I like the end when they were out and they were like holding you up. So that was, was the like, best thing ever. Yeah. I was like, OMG. I don't think I've ever gone eaten in a before like it's like uh, and also like during a lot of the guys usually don't want to kiss because they're home like because they're homophobic so they're mm-hmm. like oh i just saw you put it in your mouth like i don't want to kiss you and i'm like bitch there was a dick inside and you're putting your dick inside yeah. life is one big game never <laughs> first or last it's just just be happy when it's your turn yeah and like what about like double and double they did double yeah i was gonna ask you if they did because i couldn't tell yeah they did double and i was like this rules was that a surprise uh no i was like put it in me like put oh, put all the the me at once it was super cute <laughs> <laughs> had you done double before yes um every time i do it i feel like it feels like haram like i'm like whoa like should two be in my at the same time but at the time i didn't do but I also wanted to be hardcore. Like, mm-hmm. I wanted to feel like there. You wanted I, to take it to, like, the I next step. I did it. Step. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.